Carol Vorderman, 62, accused women's minister Maria Caulfield of not being bothered to turn up after refusing to appear before the Women and Equalities Committee. The former Countdown star added that she had been left horrified by comments made by Equalities Minister Kemi Badenoch, who did make an appearance before the committee at the beginning of the month. At that hearing, the minister dismissed suggestions that the menopause should be given a special legally protected status. Ms. Badenoch argued women could already make use of anti-discrimination measures based on age, sex and disability. She added that the menopause was on a long list of characteristics that campaigners had claimed should be written into the Equality Act, including having ginger hair or being short. In a passionate response during a hearing on Wednesday, Carol said, I could not, as a woman, a post-menopausal woman who is from a working-class background, get over the patronizing statements that she made. I thought they were insulting, they were insulting to all women. She said Ms. Badenoch had characteristically compared women going through terrible, terrible menopause all symptoms with ginger-haired or short people. Vorderman, who is patron of the campaign group Menopause Mandate, added, What am I listening to here? It's the 21st century. This was like going back 100 years to when women just had the vote. I could not believe it. Women make up almost half of the workforce and yet these are the two women in government who are meant to be representing the female population. I was disgusted to be perfectly honest, by both of them, absolutely disgusted. Mariella Frostrup, chair of Menopause Mandate, suggested the government could be meno-washing rather than taking real action on menopause and women's rights. She said the current situation feels like treading water which is only heightened by the fact that the minister can't be bothered to turn up. Ms. Frost repeated, they'll, the government, appoint any number of czars and ambassadors and you name it, but actually really we're not a minority interest, we're 52% of the population, we don't need actually a women's health ambassador or an HRT czar or a menopause ambassador if we just had equal treatment. She told MPs Ms. Caulfield's absence suggests to me that the government is paying lip service to it is perhaps men are washing themselves, just like the companies that I've visited where women complain about it. Don't miss! Kate Beckinsale leaves little to the imagination in see-through dress, pictures, rapper Takashi 699 and rushed to hospital after being beaten to pulp, latest, Kate Garraway's desperate bid to save Derek with last hope drip, insight. Committee Chairwoman Caroline Noakes confirmed at the end of the session that Ms. Caulfield is expected to appear for a hearing in June. She said the Employment Minister Guy Opperman has offered to appear alongside Helen Tomlinson who was appointed this month as England's first menopause employment champion. Carol took to Twitter on Wednesday evening to share her frustrations. Posting a clip from the committee, Carol fumed, got a bit cross this afternoon after telling many of the terrible stories from it this morning women had told us about going through the menopause in the workplace. Government says oh we have a new part-time unpaid menopause ambassador it isn't enough and it's insulting. In a follow-up tweet, she continued, I'm sure the majority of women going through menopause without support or often even with the right medication are also as disgusted with at Kemi Badenoch and at Maria Caulfield, 